adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals. So there are rules. Uh, when you add, when you have a positive plus a positive, your answer should be a positive. If you have a negative plus a negative, your answer should be a negative. For example, if you have a negative 2 here minus a negative 5, this actually becomes a positive. So this becomes a positive. So now 5 minus 2 is 3. Now if you have a negative sign on the highest number or the biggest number plus a positive 4, then you minus. So your answer here is a negative 11. You have to put your negative sign on the biggest number that you have right here. Here, a negative 5 minus a negative 10. So when you do a negative and negative, it is a positive. You add them together, but your answer will still be a negative. So negative 5 minus a negative 10 is a negative 15. And then a positive 15 plus 4 is equals to 19. So here's an example. So what you can do is take the like term. So this is a positive and a positive. You take the highest number, you write it down here, 37.06 plus 14.05. 6 plus 5 is 11. You carry 1, you drop that. You make sure that you align all your decimal points. 7 plus 4 is 11. You carry 1 here. 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Now you take the 51.11 and you minus it by the 16.5. 16.5. So this is here. 1 minus 0 is 1. Um, 5 can go into 11 6 times. Remember to align your decimal points. You're going to borrow from here, so that becomes a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, and then you also have to borrow here, so it becomes 34.61. Okay, let's do another one here. Let's take like terms, negative 59.06 and negative 30.01. Remember, when you have a negative and negative, you're actually adding it. 6 plus 1 is 7, 0 plus 0 is 0, you align your decimal points, 9 plus 0 is 9, 5 plus 3 is 8. But since they're both negative, you have to put that negative sign as your end unit. And you take your negative sign, 8 and negative 89.07, and you're going to um, calculate the 14, the positive 14.05. Now when you have the highest number and a negative, I mean the highest number is a negative and a positive on the lower number, you're going to minus. Okay? So 7 minus 5 is 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. Align your decimal points. 9 minus 4 is 5. 8 minus 1 is 7. Since the highest number is a negative, your end, the end uh, number, I mean your end should be also a negative. So the answer here is 75.02. With multiplications, it's a little bit different. So you're going to multiply and figure out how many decimal points do we need, okay? So here, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. You carry 1 here. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. You add them together and you get 4815. But now to determine where the decimal point um, ends up at, you have to figure out how many decimal points are on the right of the decimal. So here is 1, 2, and 3. So you start off right here on the right side and you go towards the left side three spaces. 1, 2, 3. So your answer here is 4.8. One, five.